Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. I'm just casually laying on the floor with all my bags evenly spread out. It's totally normal. Oh, the things you do for a good thumbnail. I'll just sit on the floor. Hi guys, it's Gloria, and as you can see, we're talking about bags today. Now, I'm not sure if you can relate to this, but I'm extremely lazy, and I hate switching bags. So for the longest time, I've been keeping my bag collection quite small. I'm also very practical. I want my bags to be functional, versatile, and affordable. So, if you're anything like me, this video is for you. I'm going to break down what are some of the essential bags you need in order to have a well-rounded bag collection. A collection that can pretty much satisfy all occasions and without breaking the bank. Are you ready? Let's find out. I'm going to start with the most practical category, the everyday bag. You can also call it the work bag or the bag for everything. Basically, it's the bag that you carry around as you go through your day. Ideally, it should be something that's more structured, in good quality, and in neutral colors. I'm going to show you my everyday bag as an example. This is a bag I got from Coach not so long ago. I've been searching for a structured black bag for God knows how long. I want it to be medium sized because I want to be able to fit everything in there. I also want it to be durable and affordable because if I'm going to carry it around all day, there's bound to be some wear and tear and I don't want it to break my heart. This bag also opens and closes quite easily with the little magnets on the side, so it's perfect for a lazy person like myself. The only thing I don't like is that it's a little bit heavy, but all in all, it's a pretty good bag for my needs. Alternatively, I also have this classic Louis Vuitton bag. Now before you say anything, let me explain. I know this bag is not exactly affordable, but it actually didn't cost me anything because it's a hand-me-down from my mom. I know when I was street vending in my previous video, I said I blew an entire month's salary on it. That was actually a joke. I would never do that. Personally, I am not obsessed with designer bags. Neither is my mom. That's why she gave it to me. But since I have it, I'm gonna use it. Of course, the quality is pretty good. This bag is probably eight years old and it still looks quite new. It's also a medium-sized bag, so it's been pretty useful for me. Moving on to the tote bag. It's also a bag for everything, but I think it's more casual compared to the everyday bag. I used to carry tote bags a lot when I was in university because I always had to carry my laptop, textbooks, water bottle, and whatever burden I needed to carry around as a student. A tote bag is perfect for that because you can just dump everything in there. Funny story, I was still in university at the time and I used to have this Zara tote bag that I bought for $39. It broke not long after I bought it, but I kept using it, I just didn't care. Then my parents came visit me in Toronto and I would always walk around with this broken tote bag. And my dad asked me, why are you always carrying this broken bag? And I said, well, because I don't have money to buy bags. So he bought me this Tory Burch tote bag it's definitely way better quality than my broken Zara one. By the way, this might be a good strategy next time you want something. Anyway, what I like about this bag is that there are a lot of compartments in here, which makes it way easier to find things. I still use it till today, like when I need to bring my laptop and go work in a coffee shop. Similar to the tote bag, a backpack is also very convenient and can hold pretty much everything. Plus, it also evenly distributes the weight on both shoulders, which makes it a lot more comfortable to wear. Obviously, I had to wear backpacks a lot when I was a student, but I still wear them all the time even right now. For example, carrying my laptop, going to the gym, traveling, coronavirus! A lot of you have asked me about this backpack. I found it on Amazon a while ago. It's by the brand called Breast Coney. I don't know what the deal is with them though, sometimes it's in stock, sometimes it's not, so I don't know when or if you can get it. It is a nice backpack. The design is really clean and sleek, and it's big enough for my 15-inch laptop. You can see the laptop compartment here. I will leave the link below for this bag, but whether you can still get it is up to fate now. Next, let's move on to the crossbody bag. It's generally a bit smaller than your everyday bag, and you can wear it across your body so that you can have your hands free. I think it's perfect for when you're shopping or when you're going out with friends, and it can also be a great accessory. So I would usually go for something that's a bit more unique. 
This is a crossbody bag that I recently added into my personal collection. It is the Bastet bag from Grotto. And I want to give a special thank you to Grotto for collaborating with me on this. What I really appreciate about this bag is that it's made of vegetable tanned leather. If you don't know what that means, let me explain. In order to create the leather that can be turned into bags or jackets, it needs to go through a tanning process. Most of the leather we use nowadays is chrome tanned, which is a method that requires the hide be placed in a chromium salt bath. This kind of tanning process is a lot quicker, but it's highly toxic to the environment. On the other hand, vegetable tanning is an ancient practice that uses naturally derived plant chemicals during the tanning process. It's more time consuming, but it's known to be a better non-toxic option for the environment. When I see that Grotto uses vegetable tanned leather, I really appreciate that. This bag is designed by a Chinese designer and is handmade by artisans in independent workshops. It also says here that their leather is made in Italy and it does have that authentic leather smell and that soft leather feel to it. I really like this catalog here, I think it's really cute. You can turn it around to open the bag and there are a lot of compartments inside. Of course you can wear it like this as a crossbody bag, but you can also adjust the chain and turn it into a handbag. I'm in love with this bag. Anyway, let me show you another example. This bag is a vegan leather bag from the brand called Mili Bianco. I want to clarify that vegan leather is completely different from vegetable tanned leather. First of all, vegan leather is not real leather. It's often made from petroleum-based plastic. Vegan leather is a response to the leather industry and advocates for animal welfare, much like vegans versus meat eaters. I think it's a noble pursuit. The only existing problem is that these materials are usually non-biodegradable, unless the vegan leather is made from vegetables, which is still quite uncommon at this stage. So for now, vegan leather and vegetable tanned leather, depending on which cause you care most about, are your best conscious options. You see me use this Mili Bianco crossbody bag a lot in my outfit videos. I think it's really pretty and versatile. Alternatively, I also have this vegan leather crossbody bag from Pixie Mood. The lining for this bag is made with recycled water bottles, so it's a really good use of non-biodegradable materials. You've probably noticed I've been showing you a lot of black bags so far. That's because black is a very versatile color and it's important to me when I'm looking for practicality in a bag. When it comes to handbags, I let myself have a bit of fun in this category. It's kind of like my arm candy. I know arm candy is supposed to be an attractive human being, but it's just me and my bags all alone in my apartment. This burgundy handbag was gifted to me by Le Cresson. I used it in my French style video. I really like how it looks. It's very classy and timeless, and I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. I like baguette bags because I have a long wallet and I also carry an umbrella around all the time. So this shape is actually perfect for me. This is another baguette bag. It's a vegan leather bag. It's from JWPEI. I think the cream white color makes it quite suitable for spring and summer. Winter here is long, so I better use this bag while I still can. Speaking of summer, how can we not mention the basket bag? The easy, breezy basket bag. It's a great accessory for summer because it makes your outfits look light and fresh, and I think it's perfect for going to a picnic or traveling in some tropical locations. I carried this basket bag throughout my entire trip in Bali last year. Yes, I'm going to keep mentioning my Bali trip until I get to travel again. I bought it from Taobao specifically for going there. But when I got there, I saw so many beautiful baskets. I didn't buy any because I already had this one, and I'm pretty happy with it. This is actually another vegan leather bag from Mili Bianco. I know it's a bucket bag, but I put it in this category because you can kind of use it as a basket, and it doesn't scratch your clothes like a real basket would. And yes, I'm still pissed at my basket bag for scratching one of my favorite dresses. The last category is the evening clutch. Obviously, it's for going out in the evening. I only have one evening clutch in my collection because I don't have a nightlife anymore. I'm an old person and I need to sleep early. I got this one from Mango a long time ago. I was walking around one of their stores in New York and I saw this little clutch. I thought it looked very unique and it's just big enough for me to put my phone in there. So here's my one and only evening clutch. And plus, I can also use all these other bags as my evening bag depending on the occasion. So for now, it's enough for me. Unless one day I decide I want to become a party queen, well, I doubt that's gonna happen. 
And that's it. It's a lot of talking and sitting on the floor was not a good idea. I hope this can give you some inspiration when you're looking to build your own little bag collection. The only thing I want to say is try not to buy a certain bag just because it can give you status or because everyone else has it. Think about your personal preference and needs and you're off to a good start. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh God.